Okay, Leo. Boop. Yo. Hello. Oh my gosh. Hello. It's working. Yeah, I can hear you too. Cool. How you doing? Yeah, I'm great. Uh, how you doing? I'm full of food. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you would you like to introduce yourself and talk a little bit about how you got into uh, 3D? Uh, yeah. So, um, uh, so I, I, when I was in high school, I played obviously a lot of games, and um, I stumbled on Far Cry Five, and mm -hmm. you know it's just it's, it's a pretty nice game, but the major like time spent in that game was uh, actually making like custom maps and oh. i really yeah i really took a liking to uh making some custom maps on that game and so i finished high school was a bit you know like confused on what to do so i just joined the school in belgium called the uh, dae so like digital yeah. arts and entertainment yeah and yeah. <laughs> uh yeah yeah it's been uh, it's been a ride so I've been doing this for two and a half years. I'm on my last semester of school, and I'm currently doing an internship at Studio Co Gobo in the UK. Dude, awesome! Yeah, yeah. actually, there's a there's a guy on my team from uh, from DAE. Oh, yeah, great. But uh, yeah, th you guys do some really good stuff there. I mean, look at your portfolio. This is pretty. This is pretty crazy stuff. Is there? I'm. Like, I just got to ask right off the bat, like, how much of this is your stuff and how much is mixed with, like, mega scans and, and like, all the yeah. other s stuff that you can so utilize? The first four mm -hmm. are uh, are all mega scans. It's just, like, downloaded assets. Yeah. Dude, um, that's so crazy. Because you don't even feel it. That's, that's the thing that's, like, uh, really sticking out, I think. Yeah, you try to... I guess you have to kind of, like, uh, re... Like iterate a lot to make it feel like it's not uh, something you just downloaded off the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because a lot of people can do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But no, this is yeah. This stuff is super cool. I guess we can start from the beginning and then just kind of work our way. I think all of your thumbnails look good. Uh, it looks like you were kind of doing like two D stuff. Yeah. So uh, the last three are two D work. Um, so it's just some photo bashes. Like I'm just like mm. tinkering around, trying to see if uh, what I can do. You know, it's just like exploration. Yeah, I did for like two years of uh, like you have a really good eye, I think, for composition and like framing. Thanks. Let's see, let's see here with the uh, so this one. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so the Coco Shop. Coco stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So there's there's some it looks like there's some rules that you you put in place for yourself. Yeah, that was uh, more of a school requirement uh okay. than a purposeful thing. Um was it painful? Would... It sounds like it was painful. <laughs> yeah, it's you know, it's like uh, a little bit of extra work, you know, sprinkled on there, so it's kind of kind of a lot. Um but yeah, I did enjoy like actually painting the the stuff, you know. Yeah. Uh, even though like pa obviously painting is not like the main thing I do, mm -hmm. um, but it's it's still quite fun. Oh man, this character's gold, pure gold. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, I'm I'm loving the <laughs> dude. This one with the uh, what is that? <laughs> What's he? Is that a sausage? Uh. Yeah, yeah, it is a sausage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this, I mean, I, I can feel the, like the exercise that you were kind of stuck in, where you had to yeah. do like frames and like here's a style guide and here's how I broke this down. But I, I, there, I don't know. There's something about presentations that looks pretty cool, like not only just the art, but like how you're thinking and trying to like put that down on on digital paper. Um, oh man, this guy. This is, yeah, I want his boots. Um, <laughs> but is there, is this like, 
so that's quite stylized, right? And then you, you start doing some realistic stuff. Is there, are you really interested in stylized or more realistic? Yeah, I'm, I mean, I, I think the best uh, is like a kind of a, like realistic stylized, I would call mm. it. Like, it's like a, a, almost real, you know, but it's it's not, it's not that real, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, this is a, a character I, I also made. Uh... Oh, man. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> That's awesome. No, it's really cool. But yeah, you're saying, okay, stylized versus like realistic. You like a mix of the two. Well, well, I'm more, I'm more into like realistic stuff. Yeah. Um, but I think the, the, the real best of the best is like when you have this, like, like a game that's like, you know, like 90% real and, mm -hmm. uh, and this has like little, like kind of fantasy, like things you would not see in the real world, like typically, I guess. Like, yeah yeah man the the quality of the work you're putting out is really high um like the attention to detail on the surfaces and like how you're dealing with roughness and where you decide to put detail because there's there's composition right but then there's also composition on the surface like mm. how you're how you like make the the viewer look at the materials um yeah. yeah, I'm the, just looking the, at it. I'm like, yeah, this is sick. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, the I, I feel like like maybe like uh, seventy percent of the work is in the roughness map. It's so important, like, to really get that material like um, feeling real, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, obviously, the color map is also very important, but the roughness cannot be neglect neglected. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's nice hearing someone else say that other than me, because <laughs> I feel like a broken record. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, no, it's it's really important, guys, and then it's really important, um, and I just keep saying it, and they're like, man, this guy, he's I'm I'm just that old dude, that's always like you kids and you're, nah. uh, <laughs> this what is this? This is a grenade launcher? Yeah, it's it's a dude. big fat grenade launcher. It's it's a chonker, man. Yeah, this is. is pretty. Uh, this is pretty cool. It. What was the reasoning behind working on this? Is it just pipeline uh, stuff? It looks like. Yeah, it's game asset pipeline. So it's just a course uh, at our university, um, and it was like my final exam for it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I decided to make a gun because I hadn't make a gun made a gun before. So. So this is your first gun as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you guys are hitting on a different caliber over at DAE. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's crazy man no this looks uh this looks really cool i again i'm seeing the realistic meeting the stylized uh mm. feeling and it's it it looks right which is nice like it can be pretty easy for it to come off like uh just incorrect oh man mm -hmm. you even have the seam in the in the mold of the grip of the front oh grip. yeah yeah. Yeah. It's it's overkill. It's, my teachers <laughs> say that was overkill. Really? Oh man. Yeah, because I actually modeled it in. It's in the low poly, and it's oh, way dude. way too much. No way, man. Yeah. <laughs> dude, in the low poly, that's pretty. Yeah, that is hardcore. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty serious. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right. Well. Dude, that's that's <laughs> that's crazy. So okay, so we got. We have this top row, which is a bunch of environments. Is this yeah. intended for it to be like this? Or is it just happened that all of the environments are at the top? Uh, like... <laughs> yeah, no, I just, I just ordered like environments, then props, and then 2D yeah. stuff. Nice. Uh, the, the fifth one is uh, actually all modeled and textured by me. Oh, really? The train yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. The, um, like the smoldering factory one. Oh, I see. I see. Man, this gives off a um, the Wolfenstein vibes. Oh, maybe it's really? the maybe it's the red light. I don't know. Might be. Huh. Okay, let's look at this one, and then we'll go to the. I don't know what music is on here, so we're gonna. 
I don't know if there is music. Oh, dude, this looks. I great. don't. I don't. I don't think so. I don't think there is music. Yeah, no, it's just. Uh... Yeah, dude, this is really. You're uh, you're doing really. Oh, my dog just walked in here. Hello. <laughs> hey, Maru. Um, yeah, your attention to detail and the way you're layering your environments is really strong. I think it's especially noticeable, like where you don't have lighting in this shot to like help you separate out the elements up front from the from the midground. The train like coming in let you realize that there's a break there and then all of a sudden everything's much more in front of you yeah no it's super cool this is uh really well done so this is a group project uh realistic scene well so yeah so the yeah, actual ahead. group project was like multiple so it was just a train going through like different environments uh but this whole scene was like made by by me uh, obviously, it was downloaded assets and stuff, but um, yeah, like other scenes that are not in here were made by other people, basically. That's that's crazy, man. Yeah, it's really cool. Okay, so smoldering factory. This one I'm actually quite interested in, mainly because you're saying you you made all of it. So it's like this is when you can really see where. Oh, dude, I think I remember looking at this. This looks familiar to me. Hmm. There's a lot of like uh, sci-fi looking things out there, I guess. Maybe. I mean, this mech specifically I remember looking at. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Dude, crazy. Okay, well. Oh, my dog's doing crazy things. Um, deja vu. Oh, people in chat are freaking out now. Uh, <laughs> it's happening. No, so it looks like there's a lot of modularity that's going into this one, or at least. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's like basically everything is just like a couple objects and uh, and then like like some uh, materials that like uh, um, use like um, the world alignments, like to mm -hmm. just like uh, put some detail in there and then like a, a bunch of decals everywhere to add some. Like, you get that break up? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's super nice. Is there Yeah, I'm just kinda looking I'm just looking at these pipes and I'm like, man, that looks like I don't know. It I can see it clipping here. Yeah. But it's so like you know it's so so tiny. And it's like, okay, if that if you didn't want that to happen, then this would have to move over to the left and then it starts maybe clipping with this thing and you're like, uh, screw it. Like we'll just ride ride it out. <laughs> <laughs> But is there anything that um, you wish you could have done in this scene? Yeah, I think like maybe like the I think I would redo my my props because they're extremely basic. No, you like the crates and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's like you know, like like I I I enjoy like sometimes like this um like simplicity in the in the objects like you know a pillar can't be like that complicated but like a crate or the, even the robots i feel like could use with a little bit more um, maybe make it more unique um less generic yeah. yeah i mean the one thing that sticks out to me on specific things in here is just when you have like a really hard edge where you can tell like oh yeah that's a face edge yeah exactly yeah, it's there, like trying no to get away from those yeah. Of normal maps, it's it, it's basically it should be like a hero asset, and it's not. It's just treated as as a yeah. I mean, I I mean, with face weight and normals, you could probably get away with it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's true. You, true. You could sneak those bevels in there. Yeah. yeah I mean, this definitely. is a year ago as well, so I don't I don't know where you're where you're at now, because like if so if we've got the smoldering factory, uh, I guess this is the most recent ten months. Maybe this one is, yeah. Uh, so, it's like, they're all kind of 10 months from uh, yeah. ago. Dude, the density in this one is super nice. Like, it feels, uh, this shot is too short. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it <laughs> it's just it's just long enough for you to be like, oh, what's happening? And then it pops forward. <laughs> 
I think the reason why is because the lighting broke like a couple of seconds in, and um, I was just too re lazy to re-render it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I yeah, no, I I, the... I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> What were you gonna say? It's using uh Yeah, I'm using like uh the I was using the new Unreal Engine five. So, mm -hmm. so awesome. Uh, so yeah, I was just testing it out. Yeah, you're getting a whole lot more depth, I guess, in your shadows, like like in the, the occlusion where all the trees kinda clump up together, you start to get these like density Yeah spaces where stuff just like disappears into it. Yeah. Man, this is really um again it's you've got a really strong direction. Like, you know, where, like where you want the person to be looking the viewer to be looking. And you've got details that kind of hint at like how stuff is formed. There's clustering of assets or like prop clusters, if you want to call it that, um, that are in logical locations and the scale of everything feels quite good. I know you're saying these are all like, uh, what, uh, scans or is this yeah. all mega scans? Uh, yeah, it's Quixel. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you recognize the rock because, like, what I think it's in Mandalorian now. I think it's also in um, <laughs> yeah. Spider Man. Also, I think has the the recent Spider Man uses the same rocks. <laughs> but I, dude, the thing is, is like the only thing that's recognizable is this edge, mm. and then the rest is like it's quite its own. Maybe it feels a little, I don't know what the word would be for it, milky? Like yeah, in the, yeah. like the color is a little... Yeah, it is. It is, definitely. Do you know what's causing that? Might be the... You know, I don't know if you know, but the... Whoa, hang on. <laughs> the um, landscape tool is mm -hmm. not supported by Unreal Engine 5. It doesn't uh, get... Uh, affected by oh right by the light and yeah yeah reflections um so that might be it and also like I think it might be the like just the fog being a bit weird like just acting up yeah like, the, the fog's yeah. just kind of adding a cloudiness to it yeah it just has this kind of haze yeah I know that uh, in in Unreal Five's uh, preview build the landscape now receives or is uh, added to the the lumen pass which is really nice oh yeah that's great but it's really um, annoying before yeah it is when you realize you know there's a way around it and it's to just like <laughs> it's to make a a polygonal shape that matches your terrain and then mm. uh rvt that text your terrain texture to that model <laughs> yeah that's but true. you don't yeah you don't have to do that now <laughs> but uh no this looks this looks great man Thanks. It's crazy seeing it and like, because you can see in some of these shots, it almost looks real in certain areas. And then I think it's when you get the fog in there, it's just strong enough, I think, that that's what's causing that kind of milkiness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, actually, before we get to these next two scenes, what's your favorite one? Uh, I really like the ruins and I really like. Uh, yeah. Nah, yeah. that's pretty much it, yeah. Yeah, the forest like, ruins? Yeah, yeah, forest ruins, I guess. But still, even that, it's like, uh, like, it's just too noisy to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just, there's too much detail going on? Yeah, it's just too much. How do you think you'd uh, combat that? If you had, if you were to go back and, like, tweak things in this? Hmm. I guess like clump up more. Um, oh, the ivy or like the little plant stuff. Yeah, maybe also like the floor, like it's just like there's no. Uh, yeah, I don't really know actually. <laughs> it's just like I'm looking at it and. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure it out myself. I think in the in the still render. It's. Maybe even more noisy, or like yeah. a little busier. Yeah. But uh it might be that you take the what is it, the wood pieces that are inside of the ivy and just lighten them up and then you get less contrast between that and the oh, yeah. 
yeah. And then maybe the contrast there could help with the. There's also maybe the subsurface on the leaves. If you get the subsurface to make the back of the leaves match the front of the leaves a little closer, you get less shadowing, mm. which could kind of fake the, or like lessen the amount of um, contrast between things. Cause I think it's really, it's contrast I think is what's doing it. I don't yeah. think it's necessarily how much detail there is. There's just how many things are contributing to the contrast variation, like on a per, like per five by five pixel space. It's yeah, like, I see what you mean. Yeah. I also don't like the shape of the rock on the right. Oh, this, uh, yeah, you're like a uh, foreground rock. Yeah. It, it's probably just that, that initial shot. Cause this curve here on the right side of it makes it feel unnatural. Like if you were yeah, to, yeah, exactly. if it was to just continue up, then you'd be like, Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. maybe that was piled up by some giant or something. I don't know. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah dude this is i mean that your propping again is is like working wonders here it's the way you are thinking about where you're placing stuff and where you want detail to be and how you're framing everything is is really strong and what's really funny is i can tell that uh you built for this shot here maybe at like the three or four second yeah and then uh when you animated it to move forward, it's like your shot reveals itself. And I think the only reason that the rock problem you're talking about here happened is because it happened once you were doing the shots yeah, and you were just probably. like, I don't, I don't want to deal with this anymore. I'm like, I want to finish it. <laughs> I'm done with yeah. this thing. Yeah, definitely. Cause yeah, right around that last frame, it's like, perfect there's like just the the spacing here and the spacing here are almost identical so everything is just doing this which mm. is making you look here it's really interesting too because you're looking here even though that this rock is like the brightest point in the shot yeah that's really interesting uh all right we got this last one here you got an article on it too which is pretty cool yeah how, what was that like, just out of curiosity? Well, I just had to write something. Um, did they contact you or did you poke them? Yeah, 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 they yeah. contacted me. Nice. Yeah, because like, I, was, I was trying to think about the article stuff. It's like, you'd be surprised uh, if you poke them and your scene is like, your scene can be quite good. And you're like, mm -hmm. why? why am I not getting any like, people poking me for articles and it's because there's just so many people posting art but if you yeah. poke them and you're like hey I, i've got some stuff i want to say on this and they're like oh yeah cool and they'll just throw you <laughs> they'll just throw you an article spot <laughs> and then you're good um but yeah so this is let me see here last of us 2 did you play that game nope no <laughs> i didn't either <laughs> <laughs> i just thought it looks really cool oh man it looked good yeah. Yeah, it looked really good. Nice attention to detail as well with the silhouetting and the gas mask on the right here. Dude, this is, yeah, there's a lot of, so another thing that's really standing out, I think, with your work is there's a lot of storytelling going on, which is, mm -hmm. which is great. That's like one of those things. It's like, man, you got to tell stories. Yeah, stories are so fun, though. Like, like right now I'm, um, you know, I, as I said, I was interning at the, uh, I said, well, I mean, I am interning at Gobo and I'm doing mm -hmm. environments like full time. And it's just, you know, you could just do that all day. Like, yeah, just storytelling all the way. Yeah. It's, it's really fun. I dude, I have no idea what does it say it in here? I'm like, I don't know where we're at. Like this thing makes me think that that's like a we're in a boat or something. Oh, uh... like, dude, this literally looks like an anchor. <laughs> Like, do you see yeah. it? <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, no, it's it's, it's like, a, I guess, like, between two buildings and there's, like, a, a bridge. And then these are supposed to be, like, windows that fail, like, window frames. Oh, I see it. Okay, yeah, yeah. 
But... Man, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. But yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> Someone in chat like, thought it was a giant know. sword, man. <laughs> 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 uh, no, it's it's quite well executed, though. I think this shot is maybe the weakest, just because the scale of the leaves feels really strange. And yeah, there's a bit of true. like visual break on the way that the leaves are shaped here. Mm -hmm. You kind of lose the illusion. So for this assignment, we had to like optimize the scene to make mm -hmm. it run kind of real time. Uh, so basically, like I have like the scanned ivy, and then it's like a transition to like a foliage of like repeating little leaves, and that's what you see there. Like it's a bit weird there. Oh right, so you have like an. So you have your card versions that go on top, but then you have a, like a tileable to kind of like fill it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's a really it, good technique. It doesn't really look as good as the other one, and also, yeah, you you said it yourself. The scale is off. Is it, is the under part of it like brighter as well? I can't tell if it's like the light hitting it, like. Oh yeah. So and then after that, there's a yeah. third one, which is just a decal that I downloaded with. Mega scan, and I just mm. slapped it everywhere. And so that's, <laughs> You're like, yeah. oh, there's a hole there. It's just like covered up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, other than that, I think the it's a very like particular thing that I'm picking up on, and maybe like not everyone will see it either, right? But uh, dude, there's some yeah. This this is really cool. These cables are a little symmetrical. <laughs> yeah. But no, oh, this one's awesome. And the ceiling is insane. I don't know how many people uh, like fail to look at ceilings or like know what to do with them. Rather, mm. is probably the better way to put it. It's like, what do I do? I mean, when you look at a ceiling in real life, <laughs> it's it's quite boring, man. <laughs> yeah, it's just true. light sources attached to it. And that's usually it. But um, yeah, I think we're so we went through all of your stuff. Is there? I mean, you're you're doing a internship now. Yeah. I assume you're probably gonna get snatched up either by them or by someone rather quickly because everything in here looks very very well done. Like this is level art uh, quality stuff where you can show like, oh yeah, I know how to do composition. You can show that you can build your own stuff, and you can storytell like like crazy. Like everything is, I would say maybe. The only thing I that I'm missing in your portfolio is maybe a different composition. Like I don't know if you notice like and maybe it's just by the way you're framing this, but everything is looking here. And it's all like uh it's all doing this. Oh yeah. Yeah. I hope I hope you're not gonna hate yourself and always look at this now if you didn't <laughs> notice this before. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. But, uh, I mean, your other stuff, like, this one's not doing it so much. It's more centered. <laughs> hmm. Oh, man. Oh, this is really interesting. It's it's quite a diverse portfolio while also being quite unified at the top. Like, there's – it's interesting to see stylized stuff, like, photo bashing and then also, like, taking mega scans and your own stuff. And it all just kind of works together. Like this, this, uh, the Coco stop thing is, mm -hmm. man, Waddles, man, he's going to, I need a stuffed Waddles now. Um, <laughs> it's, it's all quite unified. So there, there's a lot to be said about, about that. And your thumbnails are all very clean as well. Oh, I didn't notice the Unreal Engine thing up here. That feels weird to me. <laughs> oh yeah, true. Yeah. But, uh, no, I, everything looks pretty good. Do you have any, um, any questions or? Anything like that? Mm, maybe like what, like, do you know, like, I, I mean, it's been a weird question. Like what, what should I work on? You know, like what is, what is the weakest, you know? I mean, you have a lot of organic stuff, right? Yeah. And maybe that's because a lot of mega scans is organic. Uh -huh. Um, I don't think there's a problem with how much you're using mega scans though. Just so that's super clear. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. uh maybe maybe something something very different uh as far as like the scenes that you're framing cuz like like I was saying it's very outside stuff right now right 
Mm-hmm. You could do a combination of this kind of overgrown look. Maybe maybe that's boring to you now because this or you don't want to stress over <laughs> foliage anymore. Um, <laughs> but like having something that goes from like an overgrown into a space that looks almost untouched but forgotten. If there's because you know in like Last of Us, there's a lot of areas where um, the world's just kind of taking over. Mm-hmm. It's taking everything back. And there's spaces where it was like just abandoned, like it's some living room and it's just empty now and it's just kind of there and yeah. simple, but just something that's not, uh, I mean, Vince has a, an idea like a diorama or making, making all the assets. Yeah. Diorama would be really cool. I don't know. Is there anything that's inspiring you right now that you're like, oh man, I gotta, I gotta do something about it. Or is Gobo like. Are you running out of energy and steam? <laughs> no, back? no, no. It's, uh, I mean, it's a, it, obviously it's full time, full time, like job, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but so I don't have that much time to do like personal work anymore. Yeah. Um, but like currently, I was just working on another gun, just because I don't know, guns are cool, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I get it. But uh, yeah, I would I would like to like dive in and maybe like make some some other like scenes in Unreal because that's really the fun part. Uh, I mean, it would be interesting to see um, like you have this attention to detail on like when you look at the microscope, with mm-hmm. the, all the roughness and and whatnot. What about a really sterile place like a lab? Oh and, yeah, and like maybe maybe tilting it a bit more towards like the stranger. Stranger Things vibe, not mm-hmm. literally Stranger Things, but yeah, like, no, I get it. Yeah. like a lab that's kind of, oh man, what, what the hell happened here? Um, yeah, maybe a little retro. That could be cool. Build some retro props. Mm. But yeah, no, I, I think it's just expanding outside of what, what you've already shown. Yeah. And kind of just exploring other things. The other thing though, too, is, I mean, once, once you have full time, you can kind of explore whatever you're interested in, right? You don't really have to. And I, I always say that you should be exploring whatever you want to explore. But there's that whole like mental stress of like, oh, I got to get a job. I got to get into the, yeah. and that can kind of block you from wanting to do what you want to do. And you're trying to like steer your portfolio more towards specific things as well. And the the forever battle <laughs> is what I call it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think. I don't know. A lab sounds cool. A retro lab. And something went wrong. Make something scary, dude. <laughs> Make something scary that like you're wondering like, oh, like it's a it's a video too, and it makes you really uncomfortable just watching it. But nothing happens. Um. If you can pull that off, people, you'll get all types of attention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a great idea, actually. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I mean, maybe taking your storytelling to the next level is another thing as well. Mm. Like just, uh, just really pushing those cut scenes. Like, yeah. Oh, what's, what's happening here? Like trying to tell a story, even if you don't have a character and making it feel like something's happening. But yeah. Cool. All right. Do you have anything else before we, before I jump out of here? Probably grab uh, the next, uh, no, that's it. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's awesome chatting with you, man. Another DAE. Yeah, it's, it's- <laughs> it's been awesome chatting with you. Yeah, um, yeah, it's, it's great. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. This is really nice portfolio. Thanks for sharing it, dude. Yep. I'll uh, I'll talk to you later. Yeah. See right, ya. Have a good evening, dude. Bye. Yep.